In this quick video tutorial, I'll show you two examples involving Boyle's Law. Question 1 reads, a woman has an initial lung volume of 2.75 liters, which is filled with air and atmosphere pressure of 1.02 atmospheres. If she increases her lung volume to 3.25 liters without inhaling any additional air, what is the pressure in her lungs? Take a look at Boyle's Law, it's written above. We're told that pressure is inversely proportional to the volume, or volume is inversely proportional to the pressure. So what we have is an initial volume of 2.75, which is V1, and an initial pressure of 1.02, so I'll call that P1. I'll fill this in, I have 1.02 times 2.75 is equal to, this is our V2, 3.25, and we're looking for P2. All we have to do here is divide both sides of this equation by 3.25. This will give us 3.25 underneath these two factors. Using our calculator, it's a simple calculation, 1.02 times 2.75 divided by 3.25, and this gives us 0 0.8630. 0 0.8630 as P2. Now make sure that you do not ignore the number of significant figures we started with, and we started with 3, therefore we should disregard this last 0, and that represents our final answer. In question number 2, it reads, a snorkeler takes a syringe filled with 16 milliliters of air from the surface, where the pressure is 1.0 atmospheres, to an unknown depth. The volume of the air in the syringe at this depth is 7.5 milliliters. What is the pressure at this depth? If the pressure increases by an additional one atmosphere for every 10 meters of depth, how deep is the snorkeler? So I'm going to start by answering the first part of this question. We're told the initial volume, and the pressure here is 1.0. And then, after taking it to an unknown depth, he notices that it's 7.5 milliliters. So let's start by finding out what P2 is. We have P1 times V1 is equal to P2 times V2. Let's fill this in. 1.0 times 16 is equal to P2, which is what we're looking for, times 7.5. All we do is divide both sides by 7.5, and we have 16 over 7.5. Ignore that 1, because it's multiplying by 1. It doesn't do anything. Using our calculator, 16 divided by 7.5 is equal to 2.13, and that 3 is repeating. 2.13. And the units here are in atmosphere. Now we're told something else. If the pressure increases by an additional one atmosphere for every 10 meters of depth, how deep is the snorkeler? So we're told a rate here, we're told that for every 10 meters that you go down, one atmosphere decreases. So I'm gonna write that down. One atmosphere per every 10 meters. What I will do is take this number 2.13 repeating, 2.13 repeating, and I'll multiply it by the flipped version of this rate. Remember, every rate can be flipped, and we learned this a long time ago when we first started learning about conversions. So by flipping this, I end up with 10 meters at the top and one atmosphere at the bottom. The reason why I'm doing this is because if you multiply this out, the atmosphere units will cancel out, leaving you with just meters, and eventually this will tell you the depth. So 2.1333, repeating, that's good enough, times 10, gives us 21.3. And since we started with two significant figures, we should also end with two. The last discard number should be this three, therefore the answer is 21 meters deep. That's how far the snorkeler is diving. And there you have it, two examples on how to use Boyle's Law.